Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Now, <clears throat> I had a thought. I want to know, I want to know, I want to hear from you. You, the commenters, about how you feel about this. I'm going to do it. Um, it's ethically gray in terms of uh, acquiring achievements in this game, but seeing as this run has been basically destroyed, uh, I'd like to talk to you about taking advantage of this corruption. There, uh, the game is corrupted, and I've lost all of my skills. <clears throat> and I thought about giving my skills back to me, you know, uh, just giving myself a bunch of skill points, and you know, reacquiring my my skills. And I was thinking, you know what, um, you know what would be fun is to take advantage of this uh, right now, and instead of giving my skill points back, giving me my skills back. Take advantage of the fact that I can now become lost and finally actually do that clam business that I meant to do in the very beginning. Uh, I say the beginning, but you know, it was a while ago. Um, Cause I, I really do want to do that. I, I like, it's a really cool little story side quest and I never got the opportunity to do it. And it's ba it's two achievements. So, seeing as uh, an unfortunate corruption has ha occurred, I could take advantage of the situation. And like I say, the, the, this character's relevancy is just about played out. There's plenty of things I, can, I still need to do as an Esper, but I don't think they're going to happen with this character because they're just too, I don't know, kind of bloated as a character. They have like way... Well, I say they're bloated. What happened to all my mutations? And my... Electrical generation. <laughs> this character really got destroyed, didn't they? <clears throat> At least we still have Temporal Fugue. That's really the only thing I care about. There, you know, there's a few um, mutations that I, I needed for this run, and Temporal Fugue was one of them. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do for the next run. I might want to do like a true kin. I don't know. Maybe probably just do another uh, Another mutant maybe a chimera. I Don't know. It, I honestly it might have to be Esper again. There's a couple. There's quite a few achievements under Esper and uh, And I haven't really gotten them all Um I'm also, I, I'm still playing with the idea of both making friends with Aborokoru and um, killing them in the same run. I'm pretty sure I do have the achievement to uh, break a pact. I think I did that by accident at one point. Hold on, I'm just, I'm just checking my achievements. What achievements have I not gotten? I need to retrieve Kindrish. Oh, yeah, the slinth. I forgot about the slinth. They have been kind of a pain in the butt, if I am being honest. Um, I, I could try and do the slinth, but it is... I don't know. It's it's not it's not, not an easy one. Um, you are what you eat. In contemplation of eons. Where is uh, Break a Pact? Let me just do control F here. Packed. Not seeing it. Okay, uh, water ritual. This is supposed to be a very easy find, and it is not being an easy find right now. Oathbreaker. Okay, so I do have Oathbreaker. We don't need to worry about Oathbreaker anymore. Hold on, I have a I have a gremlin child who is currently trying to sit on my headphone cord again. You always do that, don't you? You always try and sit on my headphone cord. Why do you do that? It's okay. You're you're good now. All right. <clears throat> so uh, if you don't know anything about the the whole clam business, um, basically there is a clam. A very important clam who uh, will sell you a very important good for a very expensive uh, request. He, they, they've got like uh, quite quite the demand. They want a 
dram of new neutron flux. I believe they don't even well they, they won't even talk to you unless you have a, a, a dram of, of neutron flux. No longer lost. That's nice. Talk with Suprema. At least we have our inventory. If I didn't have my inventory, I, there really would be not much point. Ugh, I'm glad we can get lost, but I'm not glad we can get lost this often. Anyway, um, there are clams in the Palladium Reef. And they serve um, an interesting job. They will teleport you to a random location, generally speaking. Uh, but... There is a random, uh, or I shouldn't say a random quirk, but a, a quirk about them is if you are lost, which you are, you, you're going to be lost in the Palladium Reef on occasion. If you are lost and you also happen to have a dram of neutron flux on you uh, and enter a clam. So there's three, three criteria here. For this weird uh, side quest, you have to be lost. You have to be holding neutron flux. And you have to enter a clam. And if all of those criteria are met, then you will be rewarded by entering a, a pocket dimension. And I really wanted to see the pocket dimension because there's, there's, a, there's a clam in there. A very important clam. A very good boy clam. A very special clam. They are the they are caves of cuds, very first entropic being, highly entropic being, I should say. Um. So what we need to do is I'm gonna roam around the the Palladium Reef. I guess it's not the Palladium Reef so much as Lake Hinnom. Until we are lost, and now that we are lost, I need to find a clam. There's a clam right there. Amazing. Okay, here we go. This, I, I've been waiting a long time for this. You hear a shloop, and the world around you warps and shifts violently. One dram of neutron flux evaporates from your inventory. In the midst of your disorientation, you find a passageway to another dimension. Oh my god. All those who wander. Oh man, look at that. Look at that visual effect. Oh, I love it. Highly worth it, just just for that little tiny visual effect. We have a do we have a new soundtrack for this zone? <gasps> Here they are. I don't want to accidentally enter one of these clams. I want to try and talk to the highly entropic clam. I think I can sneak in there. Yes, I can. Ooh, we also have a. Is that a legendary? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Sorry. No, it's just an Ixalixel. Olam. Bumps, scars, and ridges crisscross the monstrous waveform. Sh uh, waveform shell from where the boundaries of dimensions ground against the inter interstitial space. A soft organ thing lies inside, lit by the glimmer of old light flashing off the all-color uh, knacker. Um, grooves across the shell, mantle billow with the dust of ontox... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't do that word. Cross-dimensional symbiotes arrayed inside. Aside them are articles of other places, a pan-dimensional inventory stocked by an entropic broker. Loved by highly entropic beings. Hated by dogs, hated by goat folk, disliked by dogs. Wow. I don't think there's any achievement for making friends with them, but I will do so anyway. And let's do so. I have some gossip that may interest you. Uh, share a secret with me, Neutron Flux Sib. Location of Mirrorad Deep, Goat Folk Village. Give me some more secrets. Bird Chatter says that someone praised a highly entropic being, insulting an Ixalixel. Ixel Thixel, I guess. And of course, what do you have for trade? Well, you have interdimensional things, including an other pro- 50,000? 
Yo, are we joshing, mate? Are we joshing? 10,000, my dude, for an extra dimensional high voltage arc winder? Why, why the, why the costs though? Plus one MA. This item recently materialized in this dimension, having inherited some properties from its own dimension, the eternal tree. There's a, a good reason why we want the other pearl, even if it is 50,000. Plus 40 psychical glimmer. Objects you objects you find are five times more likely to come from other dimensions. Plus 300 reputation with highly entropic being. Oh, God. Uh, that is quite the offer there, bud. Um, I don't think you can actually set a recoiler down here. So if you had uh, bright ideas of perhaps bringing a Kraken corpse, I don't think that that is actually... I just noticed that Gentling Cone is changing... Oh, they're all kind of changing colors a little bit. Kind of want this high, high voltage. Let me see if I can buy the other pearl. Let's let's see if we can't make this happen. Uh, I will sell anything and everything to make this happen, including all my books, which apparently I do have quite a few. Uh, drop of nectar. Taco Suprema. Well, that's gonna make for ten thousand. That is everything, basically. Sell so all of our weapons that we're not using. I was kind of hoping that Neutron Flux would make up for some of this, but it's really not going to. So I don't have even close to how much I need to 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 buy the other pearl. Oh man. Um let me give me one second here. Okay, so uh <clears throat> fighting Olam is uh completely out of the question. I I had to I had to verify. And no. I'm not doing it. However, I am going to buy this high voltage, extra dimensional high voltage arc winder. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can uh, modify that. We can come back here. Um, I do have other resources somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll sell all of the stuff I have set to sell, but I'm going to keep my Taco Supremas. All right, so we're we there's still like five grand uh, being offered here. I guess I'll keep my books as well. What else are we selling? Okay, helping hands. We don't have to do that. Nor the mechanical wings. Apparently, we do have two metamorphic polygels. So maybe if I modify this high voltage arc winder, we can. Um, Duplicate that. Let's get that cycle gland back. And this. These are all like very cheap. Uh, sorry, very, very light uh, trade goods. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of them. I can get rid of all the daggers. That's fine. Uh, we'll keep the the cybernetics credit wedge. I don't, we have all of the security cards now. That's kind of amazing. Um, let's keep the inquisitive glamour. And, um, kind of want to keep the Ruin of House Isner. <laughs> uh, okay, we're almost done here. We'll keep the Logical Frill. We'll have to make up the rest with something. We could sell a Neutron Flux. Let's sell a Neutron Flux. Yeah. I also have an, a weird artifact. Will they identify that? Nope. Find uh, go d d find out yourself, Olam says. Um, so yeah, if you want to know what happens if you attack Olam, um, just don't. Basically, they are uh, quite quite the creature. So now we're gonna head jump back into a clam. I'm gonna pass you back to your home dimension. And what I'll have to do is uh, we're gonna we're gonna start um, maybe acquiring some high tier goods in order to uh, buy the other pearl because it is still an achievement. 
No stairways leading up. Oh, we're five strata deep. We're not lost anymore, so we don't have to... We, we, we don't... We're not... I'm not worried about, like, accidentally going into the pocket dimension again. We are bleeding pretty bad, huh? We're on the surface again. Good. Um, why don't we... We could go to... freehold for just a moment i haven't been here in a while although i tend to end up here in every single episode and i do at some point want to go um start buying cloning good uh, cloning drams but um i think what i'll do is i'll continue our search for the uh the 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 shiny glow pad Let's see do we have anything cool here uh, I don't even have tinkering. This run is so ruined. <laughs> um, why don't we... We could, like, really quickly go and make friends with Borokoru. That's an achievement. Um, actually, you know what? I'll save that for its own episode. I'm going to uh, recoil. Do I... Is shift... Control R not working? Okay. A lot of things not working right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I take off from, from Cud. Um, Deva Recoiler. Where do I want to go? I guess Grit Gate. I want to go to our, like, home. Did I get rid of our... Is Deva our home? Been a long time since we've been here. Cool, we're actually like exactly where we want to be. Um, I do want to, I think what I want to do is turn off all of our pins. I'm hoping that that still works. Uh, maybe not actually. Mm, toggle pins. No, not working. None of our buttons are working, and that's really frustrating. Um, so I can't even toggle map pins right now. So what I wanted to do is just find out where... Um, yeah, Lair of Aborokoru is. And that's... It's not even colored. So I couldn't even tell you... I thought I had colored pins on. Man, nothing is working right now. I think it might be this one over here. Yeah, okay. It's usually close to uh, Kya Kya Kya. <sighs> But we're going to do that maybe in the next episode. So I think this is pretty much where we were. Give me a second. couple of eh, a little bit of disappointment in this episode i didn't realize that we were going to need fifty thousand drams i didn't think that we were ever going to need fifty thousand drams that's a lot of drams that is a lot of drams you know um we can get those sure i'm hoping in the the next character i'm going to kind of re tinker with what mods we have on and which ones we have off so um it, it might not be a problem like it was this time and uh we can you know we can see what uh what what would what, what we'd like to keep on i don't know i i really do want to have the soundtrack mod but if it breaks a game like this maybe maybe not but yeah, let me know in the comments, honestly, what to, do you think that I am out of line for taking advantage of the corruption of the game's corrupted state in order to get the, the clam? Someone out there is going to say, well, you installed mods, so technically, technically you, you're still cheating. You can install any mod to make the game easier. And, you know, this time the 
the mods broke the game so it made it easier for you well i mean technically speaking it actually made the game objectively harder for me because i have no skills right now and uh no skill points i could cheat and give myself the points back or i could pl you know i could uh play the play where the ball lies As they said in that classic Adam Sandler movie, you know, remember Adam Sandler? Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I really wanted to do the the whole clam business. Tell you what though, it's uh, kind of a like knowing how expensive it is to get the other pearl. It's a real pain in the ass to get that pearl. I got to say it. It's a real pain because um 50,000 drams, that's like that's not even late game cash. That is like that really is some some crazy money. Um difficult to get that kind of cash without really like specifically going for it. You really have to just I don't know like go in and sell a bunch of stuff find out like you have to be carrying a ton of valuable goods it's it's a it's an intentional move you you are going like with the intention of buying the other pearl you would have to really grind for that and and find some goods to, to sell so um i knowing that it's kind of a huge ask because you have to i would i would say you would just like have to have uh, not taken wayward wayward finding like you just because like if you if you take that then you are ensuring that you rarely if ever get lost and you, you never get lucky and like also find the clam and then also you have to have two drams of neutron flux right you don't have to have the second dram but um you know you have to have at least one dram of neutron flux right so um that means you have to like in the late stages of the game and it, you know the stages of the game where you are able to make 50,000 drams of water happen and also uh you know have neutron flux on you while also not having wayward for for the palladium reef or uh, the lake hinam like that's kind of a enormous ask it's you really like you that is a very intentional thing to do i don't think you would ever find this out by accident there I, I have to wonder if someone in the game tells you about this probably they do that's generally the case for cud is like someone in the game will hint at like oh yeah this is something that you you know have you considered getting lost in the Lake Hanam? I don't know. You know, they're never that opaque or uh, sorry, transparent about it. Not opaque, the other one. But they they will, they will hint at something. But damn, like it's just a it's two con conflicting ideas. You have to be able to get lost with fifty thousand drams and a neutron flux. And then, uh, I mean, like, jumping into a clam in the first place is a very intentional move. Very difficult to do that by accident. I feel like if you weren't specifically achievement hunting for Caves of Cud, you might never find this. At least not by accident. You would never find it by accident. You'd have to be achievement hunting... You'd have to, like, because there's an achievement associated with, um, you know, not not just finding the other pearl, of course, that, you know, if you read anything about that achievement, you're like, oh, okay, I just got to get lost and have a neutron flux on me. But also, like, y you would know that there's an achievement associated with jumping in clams a hundred times. I have to wonder if uh, maybe later... If there isn't like a, a store side quest in uh, in mind, like there isn't a, a, like some kind of story quest 
uh, in the books planned for jumping into clams. Because that would definitely improve the player's odds of discovering this on their own. But I, 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 I kind of doubt it. That is, that is, it's a lot. It's a very, it's a very, I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted by it. Specifically because it's 50,000. I mean, that's, that's just a absurd amount of money. I don't think I've ever had that much on me. I'm surprised I got up to 20,000. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, I have that new weapon. Can we... We can equip that, obviously. Um, replace cell with a... We don't have any antimatter cells? Oh, and I don't have tinkering anymore. Oh, God. And I don't have electrical generation anymore, so that was just like a big waste of money, wasn't it? Oh, man. Well, it might be that we have to save buying the other pearl for another character. Knowing what I have to do, uh, I would, you know, I, I, I could make that happen. I just have to, you know, not take... What do you call it? Not take uh, wayfinding with Lake Hinnom. I have a lava weep. Hey, I could collect that lava. We'll sell the lava and then we'll go ahead and sell that to Olam for... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, We'll do that. Mechanimus. Someone... I think someone told me... Um, oh, they have a... Eater's Nectar Injector. Sure. Someone did tell me who is responsible for uh, allowing you to um, have the 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 slinth join the great this the, oh man I cannot speak right now it's gone I can't even remember the name the name of the place God damn it oh well. That, uh, that $50,000 price tag really just completely destroyed my brain. I was like one of those, uh, Tex Avery cartoons when they get the check. And their eyes just, like, pop out of their skull. And it's like, b boing You know, like, what? And then you get, like, uh, the bus horn in the background. That was me. Yup, that's me. You might be wondering how I got here. In this uh, shop. Doing inventory management again. Okay. Buying some stuff. I don't need it. I don't really want it, in fact. But I'm buying it. We're still looking for this legendary glow pad. This cyan glow pad. I think I want to wait until night is over because nighttime is making it difficult for me to see. Uh, is it daytime yet? Okay. All right. Well, it's just about the end of the episode, and I've I've done a piss poor job of things. I think. If I had really done my research, then I would have known that the the other pearl was insane, insanely expensive. Let's make friends with this robot. Maybe they'll give me some fun reputation or secrets. Shares the location of Silver Alarka. Shares the location of Magnesium Opadan. Dromad Caravan. Sweet. Alright. Uh, thank you, bud. I don't I don't care about you, scavengers. We're looking. 
think when I get to the end of uh, this swamp line, then we're going to end the episode. But, I mean, at least we did get some kind of achievement. I, I feel, I, I don't know how I feel about the acquisition of that achievement, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Remember, we're, we're basically running this character, you know, to its ultimate end here. Uh, what I'll also do, by the way, between episodes is I'm going to go back to the Iker Merchant and uh, buy whatever cloning draughts that they happen to have. We have uh, run through a lot of uh, my disposable cash, so I'll probably have to go to Grit Gate. I don't think I, I don't know if I have anything left in that chest. Certainly not 50,000. Uh, I'm not really feeling good about this finding that this glow pad. It really is kind of a needle in a haystack right now. I keep hoping to say something like that and then just seeing the glow pad right in front of me. Legendary glow pad. Well, I mean, you know. Ironically speaking, this glow pad is just a normal glow pad. It just happens to be blue instead of pink. You would think, um, I mean, like, if there's a, a more, if there's more glow pads on the screen, then there's objectively a higher chance for one of them to ha to be the, the shiny glow pad in question. Okay, that's that's gonna do it. Um, oh, so is that the end? Is that the end of this uh, this whole line? Did I go back and forth already? I wonder. Did I seriously do the whole line of parasangs? I've been like a hundred percent just not paying attention. Well, I, I see that I have this zone unlocked. Like, I, I, I can see the whole thing. So I guess I did the whole line of Parasangs. I guess so. All right. Well, that means that we're going to be doing the top left corner here. Let me see. You're too famished. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to go to the Icar Merchant after this and buy some cloning draughts. We are almost halfway through the swamp. So that's good. Uh, I could set a recoiler here. I don't think I plan on using some of these other recoilers. Did I already use them up? Uh, can we like re... No. Once they're used up, they're used up, and I can't make any more because I've lost all of my skills. Okay. All right. So that's going to do it. Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, thank you very much to the coffee subscribers for helping support the channel. I really appreciate you. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Thanks very much. <laughs> Oh